lot of people have been asking me about this fire stick tv how do i get cody in there and all these cool apps i'm gonna go purchase what i need in there to actually make the video for you guys and i'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video how i do it Today's gonna be an interesting morning. I'm heading over to a place I haven't been to in, I don't know, 16, 17 years. I'm not really looking forward to going there right now, but I have to. And with all this traffic, I don't think I'm gonna make it on time, but we'll see. So about two months ago, I got stopped by the cops somewhere in Queens because of excessive noise from my exhaust, which it was bull crap because I don't think it's that loud. Okay, maybe it's a bit loud, but I don't think that's criminal. And why I say that is because they're sending me to criminal court. Queen's criminal court, as a matter of fact. Which I said I would never step foot in that building again. But, today I have to go back there. To be honest with you, I never thought it was criminal to drive around with a loud exhaust. I knew it wasn't supposed to be that loud, but I never thought it was criminal. You know, I never thought I was going to be sent to a criminal court. I really thought it was going to be a ticket or fix the situation, but obviously it wasn't. So now I got to go waste three hours of my time and sit in that courtroom because they're not going to attend me first. So I have to wait there for a while. But it's all good. It's all good because you guys are going to come with me and sit with me. Call the first witness. How do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not the is not guilty. You're the one guilty. So usually when you come to court, whether it's Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Staten, or the Bronx, there's never parking around. But today we got lucky. I found parking. Kim is gonna wait in the car with Grayson. I'm gonna head over and take care of this little problem we got. We're gonna leave this big camera in the car and we're gonna start filming with this phone. So I just got out the courtroom. I can't really speak too loud, but they actually dismissed the case because the officer had horrible penmanship. And I quote that from the judge. So I have proof that I fixed the issue, but it wasn't even necessary. The next day. Today it's me, Jesus. I'm with my uh, dad. I'm going to be drawing Woody here. Remember that video last time? I went to Target and I got a Woody doll. Yay, Woody! A Woody doll! That was a fun video. I also draw a Woody doll picture for my grandma. She liked it. And my dad wanted me to do one for him, so I'm just going to do that. I love it. Did a great job. Pound it. Four to six days later. You guys remember that vlog where we tried the chicken wings at that one spot? They smell really good, but I don't know, I'm being a little biased because I already have my favorite spot in Brooklyn. And I told y'all that I actually have my favorite spot where I take Grayson to get his chicken wings with french fries. Well, that's the spot back there. It's called Faith Food. It's on Graham and Montrose. And personally, that's my favorite Chinese spot. Well, one of them. So since we're in the area, I decided to go there right now. I ordered some chicken wings or french fries for Jesus and the baby and some chicken steamed dumplings for me. It's my first time trying the chicken steamed dumplings, but I have no doubts that it's going to be good because everything else that I've tried there is delicious. But uh, right now, we're just going to wait in the car because it's going to be ready in about 15 to 20 minutes. As soon as I smelled that food, my energy went all the way up. I can't wait to eat it. I'm so hungry. A little longer than a few minutes later. You guys remember when chicken wings or french fries were only like $3, $3.50? 
that was the good old times because nowadays they're like eight bucks. Gentrification. So by the way guys, my change didn't stop at dyeing my hair. I also cut it. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen it. But I've been wanting to do this for a while now and I just decided to go for it really. Like I've just been needing change. Ever since I had Grayson, I wanted to do a mom cut and I just didn't have the guts to do it at that point. But now, I don't know, this is like a new me. And I'm going through some changes and I'm really liking the way that it came out. I actually cut it myself. I know you're probably thinking I'm crazy, but I have some experience because my mom has always done hair my whole life. She's a cosmetologist. And then I have my sister-in-law, his sister, who she does hair, so. <laughs> I know if worse comes to worse, I can always just FaceTime her and she'll help me out. But I did it and so I have a little bit of experience, I guess you can say, because I've been seeing it my whole life. So I just decided to do it. I don't recommend that you would go out there and cut your own hair. I did it and I love it. And it's just hair, it'll grow back at the end of the day. But right now I'm about to enjoy these little chicken dumplings because mama is starving. I haven't even had breakfast today. By the way, we're parked over here by the Mickey D's off the BQE. We gotta go in Staples in a little while. I gotta do a couple things there. And then, um, then we gotta go to BJ's. Because yeah, really. we have nothing at the house. Go. Grayson, where are we going? We're going to the mall. Yes, we're going to the mall. You're right. We got to pick up some sneakers for Grayson today. Yeah. Some new Jordans came out and as you can see, he likes to wear little Jordans. I don't know if he likes to wear them. We like to put them on him. So we got to put them up for him today. Hopefully they got them. If not, Grayson is going to have to wear some sketches. Well, his preference when he goes into the store so far, he's picked out his little bands. So. Hopefully they have something cute for him because you know these babies grow like there's no tomorrow. He's growing way too fast like he needs to just chill out for a minute. Like he's already a size 12 C in kids. And I have to get him size 7 jeans, like 6 or 7 in shirts too. Like it's crazy. He's just, he's getting way too big on him. It's unbelievable. I can't believe he's that size already but you know it's getting colder. So seasons change here in New York. We gotta get him some stuff for when it starts getting chilly out. Sometimes when we come to the mall, we like to come to Spencer's for the graphic tees. They have some new ones and they're pretty crazy. Like, this one's probably my favorite though, so far. I mean, my favorite nursery rhyme and it's the ring. You gotta love creepy stuff like that. And look, Garbage Pail Kids. This is a classic. <laughs> you have, um, what's his name? Andre the Giant. I forgot this guy's name. No, that's Macho Man. And I think that's um, Ultimate Warrior. Correct me who this guy is, I don't know who he is. Sick of your beep. And they sick in bed. We should have got one of those. We were gonna get one, but ugh. They were cool, but they were just a little too demonic for my taste. I was looking for some of the Bob Ross ones that they had, and they had like some, you know, like classic Wu-Tang Clan. They had a lot of cool ones, but yeah, they didn't nice. have our sizes. So. Okay, so that's it for uh, Queen Center. It was nice being here. You know, we usually take longer than this, a few hours, but today was in and out. We just had to get his sneakers and just look around a little bit. We didn't really do a lot. We just window shop for a little bit. We stay here all day, every day. People still hit me up like, hey, why you guys don't be in Queen Sun anymore? Why you guys don't vlog anymore? We like to see you guys shop. I mean, it's cool, but you know. Grace is bigger now, so yeah. we have a lot more things we could do. Yeah. Yes. Back then he was so little, you know, you gotta get out the house. You come to the mall, you relax, it's a big yeah. place, you look around, spend some time in here and not go so nuts in the house every day, get yeah. formal. In the winter time it's too cold, you know, you want to be inside somewhere warm. In the summertime it's really hot, so you want to be somewhere cool. So it was, you know, it was a perfect place to be. So that's right, so we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to Century and do a couple things there. Because I know she wants to pick up a few things for Grace and for the, you know, for the fall coming and stuff. So we're going to head over there now. Say a few words. Okay, but just as few as I possibly can. TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Let's go. 
And yes, that was our remix to the PJ Masks theme song. So in our house, we don't celebrate Halloween. Like We're just not into that, but the kids love Halloween, especially little Jesus. And he told me that if I don't celebrate Halloween with them this year, that he's not gonna save me a piece of cake for his birthday. And y'all know I love me some cake. So we found these little things, which I wasn't expecting, but they have them here at TJ Maxx. You know, fingers, little eerie treats I could do with this that they might love, that they're definitely gonna love. And I'm also gonna get this too. I think it'll be pretty cool, a little skeleton cake. You know, just make it fun for the kids. Why not? What's this, Earth? Earth. I love this. I live by things like this. Work hard, dream big, stay kind. No matter how big you get in life, no matter what you accomplish, just be kind. Nobody likes a freaking snotty person, you know? Stay humble. Right now, I'm really happy because usually when we go to TJ Maxx, we'll get everything that we like, our cart will be nice and full, and as soon as we get to the line, it'll be so huge that we'll have to leave everything and walk out the store. But luckily today, that wasn't the issue. It was a nice, smooth transaction. And now, we're going to my favorite store, Century. Let's go, baby. When I first got locked up was around 2004, 2003, sometime around there. Obviously, the fashion was different. I used to wear size 40. My jeans were size 40, my t-shirts was like 3X. They were like really big, ridiculous. When I got out of prison, you know, the fashion obviously changed. I remember when I got out, I was like, I need to re-up on my clothes. I'm gonna go get some new clothes. But I still had the same mentality. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get me some size 40s, some size 42s. It was crazy. So I ended up going to Macy's, but I was looking for Rockaway jeans and they didn't sell them anymore. So I had to like hunt them down because I was like a big fan of Rockaway. I ended up going somewhere downtown Brooklyn where they still had them. And I went to the store and there was a girl there and I was like, you think help me find some size 40s because all I see is 36, 32s and I don't wear that, it's too tight for me. So the girl was looking at me like, okay, size 40. Okay, sure, I think I got some in the back. Anyway, so she comes with like six of them, size 40. So I'm like, okay, try them on. And I'm like, you think these look okay? She's like, can I be honest with you? Kind of big. And I'm like, what do you mean? This is like fly. She's like, nah, they don't wear those like that no more. I'm like, ain't she supposed to be like, yeah, they look good so she can make a sell, but whatever. She told me the truth. So I still bought them, I took them home. My man saw me wearing them, like, yo son, what the, those are kind of big, G. And I'm like, whatever. So then I started to do some research, see what people were wearing, and people were wearing like, not tight jeans, well some people were in tight jeans, like Star Trek shit. So anyway, I finally took heed to what people were telling me, so I ended up going shopping again. I ended up in Bloomingdale's, and it had True Religion jeans there, which were like $300, $400 at the time. So I bought a few pairs, I was like, you know, whatever. I went down to 36 38 I believe. They fit kind of right. I mean, they weren't too tight, but they were good. But the point I'm making is that in Bloomingdale's, I was paying $400, $300 for a pair of jeans, True Religion. You come to Century, you paying $100, $120, $130 the most, I believe, for a nice pair of jeans, True Religion. I know a lot of people don't wear True Religion anymore, but I love the pants. I love the way they fit. I love the way they feel. I wash them a hundred times and they still feel like they're brand new. I mean, that's my, my personal preference. I love those. My point is that you don't have to go all the way to Bloomingdale's or pay an excessive amount of money to get a pair of jeans you could get here. Yeah, they might be a year old. They like from last year, but they pretty cheap. They also got G-Star. Like G-Star started wearing it like, I don't know, like a year ago. And I like those jeans too. Like I bought, I don't know, a few pairs already and I love the way those fit as well. So True Religion and G-Star is my favorite. They got other brands here too. I love Levi's. Like I can never get, like five of ones, I can never get tired of those. I come to Century to get my bargains. I come to Century and save money and get more. Also, the kids section here is fire. If you guys have never came to shop for your little ones, I definitely recommend that you should if you want to buy name brand stuff. But, you know, you want to save some money. Like, look at this Billionaire Boys Club sweater. This thing was originally 75 bucks, and they have it here for $29.99. And it's a good quality sweatshirt. Also, um, they have some Zara stuff now. They just started bringing in Zara stuff, I think, like last year. Before that, I'd never seen it. Here's another example. This is a Zara coat. I'm sure this is from last season, but who really cares, you know? Like I said, it's about the quality. It's size seven for gray, 
and they're saying that the original price was $50.80, but they have it here for $20.99. And this thing is really good quality. The fur around the hood, it's really good. Like, you can't beat that. 20 bucks for a coat that's gonna last him all winter? You can't beat that. I need to get this for him. tired right now I honestly do not feel like going food shopping but I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I possibly can <sighs> don't you just wish it was that fast in real life let me get three, uh, two shish kebabs uh -huh. um, and let me get one hot dog my boy over here makes the best shish kebabs in New York City to be honest with you that's my personal opinion. Uh, selling shish kebab, beef, chicken, hot dog, hot sauces, make sandwich gyro, gyro, sweet Italian sausage, put lettuce, tomatoes, uh, white sauce, everything. Good price. The best price in the area. <laughs> so we're here, we're gonna eat a little bit, and then from there we're gonna head over to Best Buy. We gotta pick up a few Body things barbecue, there. Hot sauce. Barbecue and hot sauce, yes. A lot of people have been asking me about this Fire Stick TV. How do I get Cody in there and all these cool apps? I'm gonna go purchase what I need in there to actually make the video for you guys. The Fire Stick is cool and everything, but it's just too slow. It's too laggy for me personally. So I'm gonna go ahead and rig up something actually better than that. Not too expensive, and I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video how I do it. So they did have the device that I wanted. It's here. I thought they weren't gonna have it, but they did. Thank you so much, appreciate it. So yeah, like I was saying, this device right here is gonna change the way you look at movies. I can't wait to show you guys. But we're here at Target, because I'm gonna return this device right here. You guys know the Fire Stick. I bought it the other day, I was gonna connect it to my other TV in the living room, but it's not worth it, it's really not. But this thing right here, it's the next level. You're gonna wanna invest in this. So yeah, let's go change this. I gotta get my money back. I'm a Meza Mob fam. Yes, I am. Uh, Elizabeth also. Uh, Kimmy, you are amazing. Your family you is so amazing. Much. You guys are so humble. So Thank follow, you. subscribe, and comment down below. So I got my $50 back. I think it was like $40. I'm not really sure. But I got it back. But isn't it so cool when you run into like subscribers and you know supporters and especially the Meza Mob? Because you guys are so cool and genuine and we just love you guys when you guys say hi. Seriously guys, like the support is so real. And even if I'm having a crappy day, let's just say, just meeting one of you is gonna brighten it up like that because you guys are the best. You all appreciate it. Today we actually had an entire day planned, but we forget how packed things get on the weekends. So we're gonna cut the day short and we're probably just gonna go home. Five minutes later. How you doing, sir? Yes, let me white have White Castle is Jesus' kryptonite. This guy can't resist it. I always try to convince no him not to eat it because it personally makes make me it, sick. Make it five Even though it's okay, no though, pickles, I like White Castle, but steam, he still does it anyways. He can't resist it whenever he sees one, rings. so here he goes. And uh, Hawaiian Punch, please, no pickles. I'm allergic to pickles and uh, steamed, please. Okay. He's allergic to pickles, please. Okay, so yes, I'm not allergic to pickles. It's the only way that these guys will make my order right. Because every time I order, they always put pickles in there. Always. Even if I say no pickles, they still put them in there. What I really want to try is that Popeye's chicken sandwich. And since we're right across from Popeye's, I might just check it out to see if they have it. Although I know it's been sold out everywhere, so I'm not even going to get my hopes up. Just because I want to see what the hype is all about. Like People have been talking about this thing for weeks now, and I still haven't tried it. And I love Popeye's, so if I had to choose my favorite fast food, it'll probably be Popeye's and Chick-fil-A. But that's about it. Kim really loves Popeyes. We just got here. To be honest with you, I don't think they're gonna have no chicken sandwich there today. They sold out everywhere. A lot of people hate White Castle, but I think it's just because they have weak stomachs. 
Kim always complains after she eats White Castle. After she eats, she's like, my stomach hurts. And I just feel bad for her because she doesn't know what she's missing. They're just so delicious. You want some, Grayson? They didn't put no pickles, so I'm very happy. Because sometimes they put it in there and after I take it out, it still tastes like it. Look how happy she looks. She is super happy. Did they have it? No, it's my first time trying for that sick chicken sandwich, but of course they didn't have it. So once you plug in your device, it should look like this. You want to scroll over to settings, click on that, go down, move over to My Fire TV, click on that. From there, you want to go to developer options, turn on apps from unknown sources, turn that on, go back to the home page, and you want to go to search. Now on search, you're going to type in downloader. As soon as you type it, it's going to show it right at the bottom. Click on it. You want to download it, wait for it to install, open it up, make sure you press allowed so it can give you access, press OK, double click on your remote so it can open the keyboard, go down and press clear, then you're going to type the following, then you're going to press go, wait for it to download, press install, wait for it to install, and don't open it. You're going to want to press done. This is the reason, you want to press delete so you can save some space in your device. Delete it. Okay, so from here you want to head back to the home page, double click back. Now Cody's officially installed, but as you can see, it's not in the front page, it's not in the shortcuts. What you want to do to bring it to the shortcuts, you want to go to your apps and channels, scroll over to the right, click on see all, look for Cody, it's usually down at the bottom, click on it, click on options, click on move. Now you can move it any way you want, but if you want it to show up in your shortcuts, you want to put it all the way at the top. Now as you can see, it's in the front page, right in the shortcuts. We're gonna go ahead and launch it. Hit continue. Click allowed. So Cody's officially installing. Now Cody doesn't really do a lot without third-party add-ons. So as you can see, look, it's all empty. I'm gonna show you how to install some third-party add-ons. You wanna go to downloader again. Open that up. Double click to open your keyboard. Clear the HTTP. Make sure that's done. And you wanna type the following. This is Xanax, you want to press go, click install, wait for it to install, it's ready to launch, but you're not going to press open, you're going to press done, you want to click delete to save some space in your device again, hit that, okay, you double click back on your remote, head back to the home page, as you can see the Xanax app is not in the front, again if you want it in the front in the shortcuts, click on your apps and channels, head over to the right, click on see all, it's usually all the way at the bottom. Look for the Xanax app. On your remote, hit options. Click on move. And move it all the way to the top if you want it to show on your shortcuts. And now you have Xanax in your shortcuts. So we're going to go ahead and launch it. Hit continue. Click on allowed. Let it load up. Now this is going to pop up. You want to press continue as well. Click on build menu. Okay, so here's all the servers. If any of these give you errors, or they lock up on you, just restart your device and try another one. I'm gonna go with three. Go down to fresh install, click on that. Press continue, and just let it do its thing. Once everything's installed, you wanna press force close. It's gonna send you back to the home page. You're gonna wanna relaunch Xanax again. Wait for it to load up. The build looks nice. And there we have it. All the add-ons should be added on. You got some updates going on, an error or two. You don't have to worry about the errors. There's really nothing. Now the updates, you should let it update for about five minutes before you touch anything. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, this video, this little tutorial. In the future, I hope to do more videos like this, teach you guys a couple things that I learned. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Did it work for you? Did you try it? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bitch, I'm on a party like Chris